Alright, so in this video I want to talk about my compressed air drying setup that I put together about a month ago and it's been working great since. So in this video I want to talk about the way it's put together and how it works and then I want to talk about some important details that I think you should look out for when it comes to the part selection because there's a lot to choose from. So first things first, uh, two major components as far as how this works. You have the radiator right here. Then you have the air filter, which acts as a water trap. The radiator, of course, cools down the air to the point where it has a much easier time condensing, and that's where the air filter can do its job a lot better. And so the system is plumbed together with half inch NPT and half inch tubing. Uh, this radiator right here, I actually have a box. It is a Dural Performance brand tube and fan cooler core. The model number is 15300. I think I paid about 50 bucks for it on eBay. And from my research, uh, at least that I could find, it was one of the nicest ones you could probably buy for the money in new condition. And so the important features of this radiator. Uh, first of all, it has eight AN threaded ports. So AN fittings are self-sealing and airtight. No sealants required, uh, at least in my experience. And so that's very nice. Yeah. The other... Um, I guess input outputs that you're gonna find on these radiators are barbed fittings or barbs. And you know, for compressed air, that's obviously a lot less desirable. The other feature that I think you should look out for is making sure that it is constructed in this style. So there's two primary ways that the radiators are put together. Uh, this being one of them where you have a continuous run of tubing going throughout it. And this makes sure that the air or fluids or whatever you're using uh, sort of like maximizes the surface area they come into contact with. So the other type of radiators you're gonna find are where they sort of have these two main cores with the input and the output, and then a bunch of smaller fins running across. The issue I think with those is that fluids, the way they are, they like to go through the path of least resistance. And so you're not gonna have your air going through all those tubes evenly, it's usually gonna go through the first few set of fins uh, closest to the ports. And so I think you should go for this style of radiator. Um, I did see some brackets being advertised for this model, but I figured I could put together something much cheaper. It's just being held on with uh, dollar store corner brackets and zip ties. And uh, it sounded pretty good. Um, yeah, these are adapter fittings right here, 8AN to uh, half inch MPT, they were fairly cheap, and they're double S swivel fittings, so that was very nice to work with. Uh, the other big thing that I want to talk about is the air filter, and you can see here I have a combo with a regulator. So these are SMC brand parts. SMC, um, as far as pneumatics goes, you know, maybe not the best, but certainly very high quality stuff. And so I found that if you go through their catalogs, which, uh, I warn you, there's a lot of information in those catalogs, but uh, if you just uh, find the parts that you're looking for and you search them up on eBay, you're usually going to be able to find someone selling them for anywhere from 10 to 40 cents on the dollar. And so even though these look similar to the generic ones you can find coming from, you know, China or Harbor Freight or whatever, uh, I can assure you that the quality and fit and finish on these are much nicer and they are very customizable. And so. That's another tip I have for you guys. And then, um, yeah, so then it just goes over to this manifold block where this uh, run right here goes to my CNC machine. I have another air filter at the end of this tube and uh, that hasn't captured any air since. And so for my uses, I don't need the driest air, but uh, if you do, then uh, with this setup combined with a desiccant air drying stage, uh, at the end of this filter, and then maybe another air filter after the desiccant, uh, you're gonna see a uh, much better life on the desiccant. And uh, overall, yeah, I've uh, had very good results with this setup. Um, I don't use too much air. I don't consume too much, and so maybe if you do, you might wanna try to size up your radiator. But uh, yeah, overall, I think fundamentally this is very good setup. You can of course get a much more expensive, you know, compressor, uh, refrigerant based air dryer. But for my uses here in my basement with very high humidity, 
this has worked out great. And so, yeah, thanks for watching.